Hey guys. All right. I wanted to pop in real quick and answer a few of your heavily help desk questions for June. I had two come in this month, so I'm going to go through and answer those for you. So don't forget to send them in. I love doing this. It's, it's loads of fun, right? <laughs> I'd like to do it. All right. So the first question that came in was, um, I know there are different types of soulmates out there in this world, like animals, friends, and romantic soulmates. But is it true that we have different soulmates or twin flames for different phases of our lives? Um, so yes, that is true. <laughs> we do have different ones for different phases of our life. Um, but these are people who have, um, are part of our, what I call our soul contract that have signed up when you get to a certain space energetically to come in and to help you. Um, some of those people and animals and friends and lovers, hey Jamie, come in and they're so kind and helpful. And some of them wreak havoc in our life. They've all signed up to help you with that. And so not necessarily that they're they're coming at certain stages in your life, like they didn't like sign up to come when you turn 30 or 40 or 50 or, you know, at age 32 at 7 p.m. on June 23rd. Like that's not what happens. But what does happen is they say when they get to this lesson, when they get to this certain space energetically, that's when I will come in and help them with this particular lesson. Um, and yes, animals are part of that for sure. So every animal has part of its purpose is to help teach you a lesson and you are, your purpose is to help evolve their soul a little bit as well. Um, twin flames, you typically have just a few of those in a lifetime. Um, and a romantic soulmate, you can definitely have more than one of. I get asked that um, sometimes. Sometimes you sign up to have one for the lifetime. And sometimes you sign up to have several. It just really depends on what you're here to learn and what you're here to work through. And of course, on the choices that you make because you have free will here. Um, so depending on what lessons you're calling yourself to and where you are energetically, different people and animals will show up to help you on your way. Okay? All right. And then the second question is, I know there are different, oh, that's the same one. Let me change. There we go. <laughs> I think I connected to spirit. My family sitting around the table. I was giving angel card readings. Every reading was right on every time and with no hesitation. My family was amazed and I got goosebumps. Hair straight up and pure joy in my heart and hot flash. Is this confirmation? So this one cracked me up. Um, and this is, I'm not teasing the person who wrote it, or maybe I'm teasing them a little, I don't know, but I love how we like go, is that confirmation that I got goosebumps and a hot flash and everything was exactly right on and I felt joy and contentment? Yes. <laughs> of course that's confirmation. When you feel like you're in a place of intuition, that's total confirmation. How you feel when you're doing something should be very, very present. It's really difficult when you are in the zone and, and taking in especially spirit information and angel information to not be 110% present. If you're not, you might be operating from a place of ego. So when you, whenever I'm giving spirit messages or angel messages, I'm not thinking about what I'm doing next. I'm not thinking about tomorrow. I'm not thinking about how this message is going to make sense overall. I'm simply in that state of just taking what I get and just having it come out of my mouth as fast as I can. The longer you sit with it in your head, the more you, you screw it up because your ego gets a hold of it. So if you're really in that flow, if it's coming in and it's coming out and people are connecting to what you're saying, then yes, absolutely. We also get a lot of physical confirmation when we ask for it. So your angels especially will um, have physical ways to tell you if you um, are on the right track for something. Um, and everyone's is a little bit different, but goosebumps is definitely a sign of that. Um, what you want to do is ask for your confirmation feeling. Ask your angels to show you what that is. It's awesome. I do this all the time. So I'll say, hey, angels, was that just confirmation? Can you just confirm that I'm right about this particular thing? And so what they'll do is they'll send me a sign. So what I do is I feel like a rush of energy right behind my eyes, like kind of a little bit below where my third eye is right here. I feel like a rush of energy there, almost like you could cry, but I don't feel emotional. I just feel like, boom, a rush of energy right to that spot. And I know that they're like, yep, that was exactly what that message meant. Yes, that was correct information that you just gave to someone. 
If I don't feel it, then I know I need to kind of rework it or ask again or really tune back in to understand something. Um, something like goosebumps or like the shivers, right, are great signs that you are definitely in and connected. Okay? So those are your questions for this month. Send them in. I love answering them. They're super fun. It's anonymous. I don't know who you are when you send it. It doesn't matter to me. If you want to own it, you can. If you don't, totally fine. But your questions help other people because someone else might have the same question. All right, rock on. I can't believe it's the end of June. Holy crap, where did that month go? <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.